like I was saying, sorcery is a game book. It's based on Steve Jackson's Wait, sorcery. What? It's based on Steve Jackson's sorcery. Cast Zap. See, that guy gets it. That guy gets it. You get stamina. Okay, you get stamina, you get gold, you get Wait, rations. What? And you go from town to town. You get a bunch of different options, and there's fighting, there's combat. And you, it's very fun, it's very interesting, and I love the audio. I love everything about this. It's a great game. Get it. It's on Steam now. They ported it off. It used to be an iOS game. It's on Steam. All the parts, one through four. Four just came out, like, two days ago. Three days ago. Get it. Great game. Let's go. Greetings, Sergeant, or get out of my way. I don't know if I want to be, like, a bad guy. Do I want to be a bad guy? You slut for not going to escape. Please be a dick to everyone you meet in the game. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to push him out of the way. Get the fuck Wait, out of my way. What? One of the huts set slightly back from the others is decorated with glyphs and strange symbols. A terrible smell emanates from its doorway. This is the hut of the Chief Mage. He's been preparing your spellbook for days, reading star charts to work out which spells will be available to you in the different locations in the hills and beyond. You cannot take the fucking book. Are you serious? Oh my god. That's horrible. What is that, like an achievement run? Just to give you guys some, like... The book helps you out immensely. You, it helps with countering spells. It helps you get out of like a million different situations. You use it throughout the entire game. Yeah, yeah I have to take the book. I'm, no, I'm going inside. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna get destroyed. Wait, what? Leave the book, leave the book, leave the book. No, I can't leave the book. I can't leave the book. If I leave the book, we won't get past, like, the first door. Give this guy an atomic wedgie. <laughs> you grab him by his underwear and rip it up, and his fucking underwear rips off. That'd be funny. That's going in my book. You reach the foot of the mighty gate. It is sealed. The sergeant places one hand on the wood. The gate has been locked for some time to deter raiders, he tells you. But you will have no difficulty. The stars in this place allow the DOP spell to be crafted, and he stands back. So, in a lot of situations in this game, you're allowed to cast a spell, and there's a bunch of different options. So, for instance, like, we're gonna go into the sky now, and boom. You have to spell out, every spell is three letters. And some of them, they, they, there's like a ton of them in the game, but we're gonna, DOP is a spell to uh, open any lock or door. So you'll, uh, Wait, what? you'll come into, uh, lots of different doors that can't be opened, but you can just dop them, and they'll just fly right open. Well, thank you, Burkish man. Hey, by the way, thanks to all the subs that I, I haven't been saying hello to. Cast dop. Wait, what? Time to strike on, then. The wind whispers through the long grass, beckoning you onwards, but there might be rats and worse in those fields. So you might be safer cutting across to the river and following the bank. I don't know, that guy, there might be rats in that field. There's potential, there's potential for fucking rats. So that's definitely the fucking way we're going. It's getting, so you have to sleep in this game. If you don't sleep, it, it, it's bad for you. So, I mean, make camp or should I go to the bonfire? <laughs> Let's go up to the bottom. He's like, just go sit down next to somebody and be like, hey, fuck you. This is the safe play. Making camp is the safe play. This is the unsafe play. But there could be... Let's go fucking buy bonfire. Fuck it. Let's go. A few moments later. Get up. You stand slowly, battered and humiliated. You rub the blood back into your wrists. Then finally you look through your pack. Your provisions have been taken. And all your gold is gone. Still, there are small mercies. You still have your neck shouldering your pack. You start to walk once more. That is fucking horrible, by the way. That's like the worst thing that could have happened. Hey, good thing I like went into the stupid village and just like, go to bed near the fucking river. Zero gold, zero rations. Good luck. In the middle of the bridge, a man stops you. Halt, he declares. This is my bridge. And to cross, you must pay the toll. Huh, <laughs> good. How much? How much is the fare, you Wait, ask? Wait, what? 
The toll is just one gold piece. It's very reasonable. <laughs> Fuck, I would have paid it and just been done with this idiot. Thanks for the sub, see ya. See ya, Soros. Uh, I don't have any gold. No gold. I don't even have one gold piece. Just get the fuck out of my way. Push him aside. You shake your head firmly and push the man firmly aside. Either by accident or by design, he totters off one side and into the water, landing with an almighty splash. Laughing, you stride along the path on the other side. You have a long way still to travel today. <laughs> get out of my fucking way. You just like threw him over the bridge. That guy probably gives a good- that, that guy was probably a good guy, too. I wasn't supposed to be bad! I wasn't supposed to be bad. <laughs> you just fucking killed that fat dude. You didn't even write fat dude! I- you just killed that dude. I, why did I put fat dude? I mean, he was fat in my mind. He was a big fat guy, wasn't he, in your mind? Wasn't he like a big burly fat guy? Alright, so the- they're throwing- these elves are throwing acorns at me. Threaten them. Cast a spell. We're gonna Listen fuck these guys to up. Me, son. I'm your dad! Destroy him! Whoa! Thank you, bug cat. Uh, what's zap- I'm fucking zapping into the trees. Cast a fucking lightning bolt at him. You cast Listen a spell and fire a lightning bolt up into the trees. I'm your dad. I am! I'm destroying them! See, Shadow Bolts, I'm destroying them. The limb on which the elephants sit rends an enormous explosion, and the tree bursts into flames. You break quickly into a run to avoid the rain of burning branches. You quickly leave their screams behind. <laughs> Dude, these guys... Okay, let me just go over this real quickly. Let's, let's, let's break this down. Guy on a bridge wanted one gold piece. Probably a nice enough guy. He's just kind of messing around. Oh, you gotta pass one. I threw him into the water and he fucking drowned. I threw that guy into the water. Walk 20 feet in the next direction. Little elves are like playfully throwing acorns at me and I fucking zapped the tree and they scream, burnt them alive. I shouldn't be doing this. There's no reason for that. Wait, what? You attack, cutting the roach pig down. The creature squeals so loud you think your ears will burst and then it falls back, hitting the earth. The trees fall silent once more, yeah. You carry the carcass a short way away from your camp so that you will not be overrun by rats and ants. Then, wiping your blade on the grass, you settle back down and try to get you sleep. So we can go into the woods. Which, this way seems to go over to Dumpus. Don't even care what the other one is. Do you think I give a fuck about what the- uh, are you serious? Do you think I care about going up this way when there's a fucking town called- Dumpus. No fucking way. We're going this way. Don't care what anybody wants to do. We're going that way. Then suddenly you stop. You've heard a noise up ahead. Something is moving around between the rocks at the edge of the path. Get that fucking sword out. Knew it. You draw your sword and are glad that you do so because a moment later you are attacked in a flurry of foliage and dirt. A rat bear! A rat bear leaps from the undergrowth that is much closer than you thought. Its sleek black fur allows it to hide in the shadows until almost upon you. You bring your sword up to bear. Holy shit. This thing is gonna fucking kill me. Started. Spage out back, he replies with a jerk of his thumb. You walk through the man's house into the back garden. The smell is terrible. The job is not just to dig a new cesspit, but to dig over the old one. And it's going to be several hours. Work that'll probably take the whole night. You collect the spade which stuck in the ground by the hole. Cast a spell. What can I do? Fucking zap him. Okay, I could do... I... <laughs> Should I fucking zap this guy? <laughs> What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen if I just fucking bolt a lightning on over here? Does it cost three stamina to cast this? You cast the spell and point your finger at the hole in the ground. With a flash, a burst of lightning flies from your hand and hits the ground. 
Earth explodes upwards, and when the air clears, you have created a fine hole. A little rough around the edges, perhaps, but you still saved yourself plenty of work. <laughs> I thought I was gonna, like, zap that guy. What a waste of stamina. What a lazy fuck. He wields a sharp scimitar in expert hands. Zap, boys. Oh, what's that? Excuse me. Zap, boys. Lightning. You cast a spell, but nothing real. Fuck! Listen to me, son. I'm your dad. Destroy him! Whoa! Wait, uh, what? I can't. I got this little shit with me. Go inside. Oh, she looks fucking evil. Look at this evil lady. That's an evil lady. Thank you. You follow her inside and take a seat by a long wooden table. I'll bring us some tea, she says. She sounds almost nervous. Hurrying to her kitchen, she returns with two large cups. Watch it, Jan whispers in your ear. I don't trust this one. Look at this lady. You gonna trust this lady? She looks so evil. Uh, alright, make conversation. So, Athesi said, discussing a friend apparently killed in the night by an assassin. Hey, I met that guy. I'm friends with him now. I feel like they're not Wait, gonna be happy about what? that. They're not gonna be, uh, they'll be upset if I talk about this. Don't sell him out. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna sell him out. Tell me. The chief nods. I shall. My daughter, my child, she is taken. Offered to a terrible demon below. Yeah, she fucking deserved it. The chiefs look at you with level hatred. As do you now. Kill the demon and save my daughter and have your reward or die, he shrugs. It is for you to make a choice. I don't really have a choice. I'll do it. So, it, okay, what was the riddle? It was right, right? We gotta go right. Prior to the- no, uh, the ape- I got the dolphin now. Dolphin's not even with me. What an asshole. The ape would have been here. The ape would have fucking saved me. Wait, what's going on? Climb- cl Climb out of the hole! You set your toes into a crevice near the base of the rock wall and we try to climb your way out. The stone is coarse and cruel on your fingers, and soon you'll have the cuts below your knuckles and on your knees and elbows. Halfway up the slope of the crack begins to curve over, and the going gets more difficult. Keep going. Climb out. I can get out of here. You will not give up. You keep climbing. One hand after the next, testing every foothold. After some more effort, with blood trickling between your closed fingers, you are within a few reaches of the sunlight. That's when they notice what you're doing. A spin eye appears over the lip of the crack, then something, one end of the coiled rope, is dropped straight into your face. You lose your grip and fall. Do I survive? And hit the floor with a horrible crunch. Your ankle is badly twisted and you are lucky to not have broken your neck. The rope is quickly whisked up again out of sight. Get me out of here! You ro- you rodent- <laughs> Get me out of here, you rodent! What a terrible insult. You ball up to the sky. I'm crying? There's no reply, no rope is laid. Fuck. Use magic? You begin to ready a spell when Jan- Fucking Jan is still here! <laughs> Fuck! He's fucking still here! I keep forgetting he's here! <laughs> I'm dead, it's over. I died. <sighs> Find a gap to squeeze into. You look quickly for a gap in the tunnel wall which to press your body. There is one. You die for it, but it is a few inches too shallow. <laughs> you have been crushed and ground into powder. Your adventure is at an end. <laughs> Oh, I just, I'm gonna die and try to get in this hole.
Yeah, there's it. Rip. Rip. There's death number one. There's the first death. I am surprised it took this long to get one death. Start the death counter. There's one. <laughs> this is why you don't go left. <laughs> I want to try to get through this whole thing without five deaths. That's the goal. If I can do this without dying five times, then I'll be happy. It's going to be hard. But it pro I'm going to die probably 50 fucking times. There are so many spells I could use right now. I could like do- I could use DOP. I could use fucking like ZAP, SOP, SAP, ZOP. Oh. My. God. We'll never win. Look at how much stamina he has. <laughs> I'm never gonna win this fight. <laughs> the stupid mini might. I could have like done a spell. There won't be a later. All right, fine. Dolphin, give me strength. You'll receive no further help for some time, but anytime. All right, I got nine health. Full blast. Great. <laughs> he has so much more to work with. I'm dead. Even if I defend, I'm dead. I have to swing every time. I'm dead. <laughs> it's hard to like, just gauge what he has. Oh my fucking god, I'm dead again! Put the counter up. That's three deaths. Six point four. Alright, one more. I gotta hit him one more time. This is it. Full blast. Pray to the fucking dolphin. Got him. Got him. Only died two times with the Manticore. Three deaths total. <laughs> then something drops down, a rope, with a basket on the end. The girl first, calls a voice from above. Proceus. No, I'm coming up first. <laughs> I'm coming up first. No, you call back, stepping into the basket. The rope doesn't move. The girl, they call. The girl comes first. I ain't fucking moving. No chance. I don't trust you further than I can spit. You get me out of here first. Then you can rescue your damn daughter. You are rude, he declares, but we Svins pay our debts. He presses two gifts into your hands, a pouch of ten gold pieces, a fortune for a place like this, and a key. This opened the South Set Distit Gavkar, he tells you. I hope it is a use. Oh, this guy's a fucking orc. This opened the city gate of Kar, he tells you. I hope it is use. Time to go. We did it, boys and girls. Got all of our stamina back. Ten gold. You guys didn't want me to go back. You guys didn't want me to go back to the town. Look at this. Look at this, like, fucking celebration. You thought they were gonna, like, kill me again. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't, like, go through all that pain and suffering and die three times because he's an idiot and he sucks. That not to be a thing. At least I can cast spells again. To car. There goes part one. I believe. Yeah. Your journey through the Shumatati Hills is completed. Along the way, you have gained the friendship of Flanker, the assassin, and have given the key to the gates of Kar. You've collected no magical artifacts. You are still armed only with your original sword and have no rations and ten gold pieces and a spell book. The adventure continues in Sorcery 2, Kar, city port of traps. Save to the cloud. That's part one. Dop him. <laughs> There's part one of sorcery. Insert disc two. 